Once Upon a Mouse is a nice idea, but if you're a big Disney fan, it might not actually have that much value. Its meaning is quite sweet, by which I mean it was released to celebrate Disney's 20th feature film. This was in 1981, and the feature film was The Fox and the Hound, which is absolutely fabulous. And we have a selection of, a wide selection, credit where it's due, of Disney's animations. And over the course of half an hour, you can explore Disney through the ages up until the point of releasing The Fox and the Hound. Now, that sounds like a nice idea. And the description on IMDb made it sound really great. Because on IMDb, it says it's a chronological retrospective of the works of Walt Disney. No, it isn't. It's not chronological. It's a little bit chronological, but it jumps back and forth. And as we move forward, we, for example, if we, we have Snow White, then we move forward some cartoons. But then there's another clip from Snow White and it jumps around so much. And I just think it's very badly edited. It's kind of like, and this is maybe a weird analogy, but this is what it feels like. It's like they had all of the individual clips that were going to feature and they sorted them alphabetically and dropped them into the video editor and just rendered it in the order that they fell. I just, I'm assuming that's not how they did it, but it's so random in that regard that it doesn't seem like they spent much time thinking about the best way to present these clips. Maybe they just thought, well, if they're a Disney fan, they'll be happy with this assortment. And yes, if you don't watch a lot of Disney, if you're a casual Disney fan, then maybe some of these clips you haven't seen in quite a long time, or maybe some of them you've never seen. But for the diehard Disney fans, and I feel like they're the people who are going to be seeking this out most of all, and who will be having... Well, maybe my expectations are too high, I don't know, but I feel like we needed something a little bit more, and... As IMDb suggests, chronological was the way to go if they just spent a little bit more time trying to make it more chronological so we weren't bouncing around all of the time. It could have been a really fantastic look at how Disney's animation style had developed up until The Fox and the Hound because there are changes both in terms of subtle changes in the animation style, but also changes in the quality. And this is obviously largely because of improvements in technology and things. And that's really fascinating to see. Even if you just do it manually and you go and type in original prints of, of Snow White, and then you have a look at prints from Bambi or Fox and the Hound, even then, over that shortish period of time, we're getting significant improvements in the quality. And you do obviously need to look at the original versions because I know a lot of them have been improved and enhanced um, for, for more recent releases. And that could have been so great if they'd done that with this. So the selection of clips... Is it, it? It's technically very good. We have a really big variety, and that works very well. But as I said, it feels like somebody has just given all of the files random names, sorted it alphabetically, and then just dropped it into the editor and hoped for the best. We do get little bits with Walt and things, but they didn't really do too much with that. So it basically is just an assortment of random clips of Disney's animations with not much thought into the structure of them. If they just spent a little bit longer, then it might have been a bit better. But nevertheless, if you're a casual Disney fan and you want to see some clips that you've maybe not thought about in a long time, then I'd say it's worth watching. But if you already watch a lot of Disney clips and your memory's not going to be really refreshed with any of these, then it doesn't really have anything to offer. But nevertheless, celebrating the 20th feature is a good thing. So I can't complain completely, but certainly I feel like they didn't put much effort into this at all. And Once Upon a Mouse could have been significantly better.